Demonstrators protested this weekend against the arrests of hundreds of undocumented immigrants. Immigration and Customs Enforcement agents conducted a series of enforcement action raids in at least six states. Now, officials say the raids were aimed at those with outstanding criminal warrants, but other undocumented immigrants were caught up in them. President Trump has promised to deport millions of undocumented immigrants with criminal records. And today, a group in Wisconsin is organizing a Day Without Immigrants walkout to protest the Trump administration's policy on undocumented immigrants. NBC's Ron Mott is in the middle of that protest right now. You can see him there. Uh, Ron, up to date us. Give us, a, give us an update on what's happening. Hey there, Ali. Well, you know, we were told by organizers to expect a few thousand people. I would say there are at least 10,000 people, maybe more, walking the streets of downtown Milwaukee today. They're calling this a day of action. No work, no school, and no buying. They want this to, they want to send a statement, not just to folks here in Milwaukee, but around the country, that Hispanics, immigrants, refugees are part of this country, are part of the culture of this country, and they want to stay here, and they're making contributions. So they obviously do not support the president's immigration policies, and they're marching toward the, the uh, county courthouse now, where we are told that Sheriff David Clark here in Milwaukee County, who is a big supporter of the president and his immigration policies, is going to meet the crowd. It should be an interesting meeting, Ali. All right, you'll be you. with them when that happens, so we'll come back and, and check in with you. Thanks so much for that. Let's bring in Mario okay. Garcia Sierra, who's a member of the immigrant advocacy group uh, Voces de la Frontera and one of the organizers of today's uh, March. Uh, Mario, thank you for being with us. Let's talk about the recent raids, which uh, ICE, uh, Immigration and Customs Enforcement, calls routine enforcement actions. President Trump tweeted on Sunday that the crackdown on illegal immigrants is merely uh, the keeping of my campaign province, uh, promise. Gang members, drug dealers, and others are being removed. Um, if these actions are aimed at criminals among the undocumented population, what's your response to that? Hi, good afternoon, and thank you for having us. You know what? I think it really, um, that just uh, talk what, what, what he has been doing, what we really see, what goes down in the community is that as long as you don't have papers, you, you can be a deporter, and I think that they are doing a great job at uh, kind of like criminalizing everyone who is here with no documents, and, and they are really trying to portray uh, immigrants, especially Latino immigrants, as he did in his campaign, when in reality is that we played a, a big role of, in the fabric of, of this community. We are here, we are working. Uh, uh, kids are going to school, we're creating jobs, opening businesses. So that's why we, as Voces de la Frontera, decided to call out this uh, not, uh, statewide strike. A day with all Latinos, and, immigrants, and, and refugees. Ron is walking with the crowd. He said it's bigger than uh, expected. Uh, what do you hope to accomplish with this? I mean, we're expecting at least uh, 50,000 people to be marching with us today. And on one, I think that we want to remind people the economic power that our community has in this state. Close to 50% of the labor force in the dairy industry, it's uh, immigrants, Latino immigrants. If they were not to show up uh, one day or two days to those farms, that industry will collapse. So that's one. And the other piece, it's uh, we want to send a clear message to uh, Sheriff uh, David Clark that we won't accept any 287G agreements in this community and any other community in Wisconsin. We want this uh, state to be a thriving community for, for immigrants as it has been in the past to other immigrants. So today, you can call it uh, the beginning of the resistant movement against these hostile and hateful policies against our communities that only seek to destroy and divide our communities and totally divide, divide families here in Wisconsin. Mario Garcia Sierra, thank you so much for joining us. You're welcome. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.